time and welcome to my um, movie review of Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. I think that's what it's called. Okay, so um, I got back from seeing uh, Godzilla X Kong the New Empire with my dad and um, this is my me and my dad movie ticket. Okay. Um, so let me know in the comment section below. Have you seen the movie already? Or are you planning on seeing it uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday this weekend? And uh, are you a, a Godzilla fan or a King Kong fan? Or you like both of them the same? To be honest, I like Godzilla and King Kong the same. Okay. Uh, I'll get into that. Uh, later in the video, okay? But I'm gonna give you the background and then uh, I will uh, give you my thoughts and opinion on the movie and then my background and uh, my thoughts and opinion on the Godzilla King Kong, all that stuff, and then I'll give you my grade on the movie, okay? Um, okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, Okay, there it is. Okay, um, okay, so it's directed by Adam Wingard. Okay, uh, let me see here. Um, um yeah, so uh, Adam Wingard uh, directed uh, the last one, Godzilla vs. Uh, Kong. Okay. Um, Star Rebecca Hall, Dan Stevens, Alex Fern, uh, Brian Tree Henry, um, March 29th, 2024, 115 minutes, okay, and cost 135 million, okay? Because of the box office and streaming success, uh, Godzilla put the call during the COVID-19 pandemic. Leg Legacy uh, announced a sequel in March 2022. And that family will commerce later that year in May 2022. It was announced that Wingard will return to Dread and Steven have been cut and leave. Filming began in July 2022 that go Coast, Australia, and finished in November 2022. Okay? Um, Godzilla at Kong, the new empire, premiered at the TCL Chinese Theater in Los Angeles on March 26, 2024. Okay? Um, said that, uh, it's the fifth film in the Monster Bird franchise. It's also the 38th film of the Godzilla franchise and the 13th film in the King Kong uh, franchise. The film starred Rebecca Hall, Brian Street, okay. Uh, in the film, Kong encountered more of his species in the whole earth and must, and must unite with Kong to stop their tyrannical leader and powerful climate changing time Hiking from destroying the surface. Okay. Um. Um. It was PG-13. An hour and 55 minutes. It got 6.7 out of 10. On IMDb. Um. Um. Uh, it it got 56% of Rotten Tomatoes. Wow. The audience, 93%. Okay? Uh, now, uh, I knew, I knew, I pre already predicted it, okay? I knew, uh, uh, I said to myself and I told my dad that uh, I knew that this is going to be one of those movies where the audience gonna give a, a bad a bad score like fifty or fifty or something, and 
the audience will give it like an 80 or 90. Okay? Um, okay? Uh, okay? Uh, um, Bernie, hey, hey character, I believe he was in the last one, uh, uh, this one, okay, um, okay, oh yeah, uh, Rebecca Hall was in the last one, uh, okay, uh, Lily Bottom Brown, she was in the last one, she was in this one, okay, um, uh, so, uh, Bree, Terry, Henry, the Brian, Terry, Henry, and Rebecca Hall, and um, the girl that, uh, you know, that do sign language and that can, that touch, touch and have, and have like feeling and connection with the uh, call. Uh, those, those are the only three characters that, from the last one, that, that it in this one. Okay? And that make a comeback. That, that return in this one, okay? Uh, so, the only other movie I know Rebecca Hall in is it was Iron Man 3, okay? So, I think her in three movies now that I know of. Uh, uh, Godzilla for the Kong, uh, this movie, uh, Godzilla at Godzilla, uh, what do you call? Uh, Godzilla, uh, at Kong, New Empire, and on Iron Man 3, okay? Um, okay? Um, now, um, now, um, now, uh, what else I'm gonna say about this movie? Um, I've been hearing a lot of people say that this is a, uh, Stupid movie, and I agree. I agree with it. Okay, this is uh, this is not a masterpiece. Uh, I would recommend. I would recommend just skip this movie and watch uh, Godzilla Minus One. Okay, now I'm gonna make a statement, and you agree with me if if uh, if, if you think I'm right or wrong. In the comment section down below. Uh, when you have a movie and get non-stop uh, monster fighting or non-stop robot fighting, critic uh, hate it. But like the audience kind of enjoyed it. Okay. But when when you have a movie that have a lot of uh, human Character fighting, you know, human character fighting, gun, uh, a combo, you know, a martial art fighting, like Bruce Lee and stuff, non stop, uh, 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 human fighting, like I said, Bruce Lee, or gun and stuff, non stop, uh, they, they think it, uh, 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 it's awesome, that they all, uh, uh, it's a, a, a plus, awesome movie. And that's why they think, uh, each of the John Wick movies is so awesome, because it's not stop, okay? Uh, but I'm here to tell you, uh, we at audience, we don't come, we don't come to, like, Transformer movie for the, the human character. We just see, we want to see the Transformer, you know, all of, uh, uh, the Autobot and the Decepticon fighting and Transformers. Uh, when we come to see a King Kong, a King Kong movie or a Godzilla movie, we come to see King Kong and Godzilla fighting monsters. But the critics don't like it if they don't have human characters in it. That they stupid. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, that that's what I see, okay? And okay, and I'm not one of those people that uh, uh every big franchise that comes out, I come I come and do videos. Oh, I'm a big I'm a big uh, uh 
fan of that uh, that uh, franchise. No, there are some franchises I'm a fan of, and there's some that I'm just a casual fan, and there are some franchises I've never seen before. Okay, but but I am a fan of uh, King Kong Godzilla, and I don't have a preference. Uh, King Kong Godzilla, I like both of them the same. Okay, um, I grew up watching King Kong Godzilla in my childhood. Okay, um, okay. A couple years ago, I bought uh, the box set came with the thirteen uh, movie with Toho. Okay, uh, that's the biggest uh, box set I can find of Godzilla. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Original uh, King Kong movie, nineteen thirty-three, and to this day, I think it's it's the best uh, King Kong movie ever. Okay. And if I was on Rotten Tomato, I would give uh, this a hundred percent. Okay, an A plus. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, but what Godzilla movie, in my opinion, is uh, okay. The one where he was in New York. To me, that not that not he he only looked like Godzilla in that movie. He looked like a dinosaur from Jurassic Park. Okay, um, I would I would watch uh, original King Kong vs Godzilla. Okay, uh. It's it, it funny, cheesy, but it's it, it better made. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Now, uh. I think the title of this movie is dumb. Because Godzilla is not even in this movie that long. The whole movie is like about like like uh 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 like uh, the movie mainly about uh Kong because they don't use the word King Kong they just they just say Kong okay and every once in a while you see Godzilla pop up here and there okay you could you could take out Godzilla out of the movie and it wouldn't affect the movie. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, this, this, this movie should have been just a uh, a Kong movie, you know, King Kong movie. And don't even, it should not even have Godzilla in the movie. And I would have been happy. Okay. There was like one thing in the movie where it felt like a Planet of the Eight movie. I'm, I'm watching it, I'm like, Wow, this feel like a Planet of the Eight movie. <laughs> okay, because there, there, there was like one thing where uh, uh, King Kong was fighting a bunch of the eight, and they were like fighting King Kong. Okay, um, okay, um, uh, if Godzilla was gonna be in the movie, which he is, I wish he he would have more screen time because his name was on the title of the movie. Godzilla at Kong New Empire, okay? And my dad said uh, Kong should not be in Hollow Earth. He's supposed to be in Go Island. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, and when when they went down to Hollow Earth, uh, I'm like, what? It, it didn't like Johnny to the center of the earth? I'm like, what are they doing? Okay, uh, I know people are going to be talking about and making jokes about that that uh, mechanical arm or that uh, Kong gets on the arm. I'm like, what? Um, yeah, and also I don't, I don't like uh, that one that that um, uh, does the sign language with Rebecca Hall. Okay, 
Crap, crap, crap. The human character um uh, in that movie or that dare just to uh just, just to be human characters, okay? Uh the people that go see that movie they're not they're not here to see the human characters. They're just here to see uh King Kong Godzilla fight and uh Kong fight the other eight monkey whatever and it was actually kinda of cool. I, I kinda of got a little invested in it. And I like it when uh, King Kong was uh, holding it like the ass thing. It kind of reminded me of like the Stormbreaker that Thor had. I'm like, it's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, so, to me, what hurt this movie is uh, not having enough uh, Godzilla in the movie. The human character was stupid. Uh, the girl with the sign language. Stupid. Um, King Kong having it like the mechanical arm on the arm was stupid. Okay, and people are gonna say, oh, people people are gonna say, oh, too much uh, fighting and not enough human characters. Okay, uh, we didn't come the audience to watch the human character. Okay. If you want a good Godzilla movie with good fighting and good human character that well, go watch Godzilla Minus One. Okay? Um, okay? Um, okay? Um, okay? Um, so, uh, I, I didn't, didn't I be honest, I did enjoy the fight scene. So, um, to be honest, I would say only watch this movie if you're a diehard King Kong Godzilla fan like me that grew up from uh, grew up with with all the movies. I have it right here on DVD. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Um, but I would say the way to come out, uh, like Netflix or whatever, uh, uh, Amazon or, or whatever streaming service it is, and just fast forward and just watch the uh, fight scene with King Kong Godzilla and the, and the, the other eight, monkey, whatever it is. Okay. That's the best part. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Okay, uh, so this is what, the fifth movie in the, uh, Monsterverse, and the first two is still the best. Uh, I would say, I would say, um, um, Kong Go Island is still my favorite, okay, because, uh, I kind of got invested with Captain Marvel character, Samuel Jackson character, you know, Nick Fury, Brie Larson character, and uh, Tom Hiddleston, you know, the guy who played Loki, and John C. Riley character. So there was, there was some good little human character development in that movie, and, and also some cool um, uh, Kong uh, monster fighting in that movie. So that so this is my favorite one, okay. And and also it was a good little uh, take on uh, uh, Go Island, okay. And then the second best one uh, is uh, this one, the first one, okay. And then um um the other one. I don't know, okay? Um, I would say, I would say, uh, either Godzilla vs. Kong, or this one would be the tie, a tie for third. And then, in last place, in last place, would be, uh, number five would be, uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters, okay? That's how I would rank them, okay? 
okay? Um, but, uh, so, uh, if I were to buy a tomato, I would give it like 50%. Uh, I would give it, um, Like a, I would give it like like a, a C minus. I would give it like a fifty. Okay. Um. Okay. The only the only thing I got out of this got out of this movie was uh, when I saw this movie in theaters, uh, I saw a, a trailer for Kevin Costner Western movie. I'm like, wow. I didn't know they make any western movie nowadays. Wow. Come it come in, in the summer and see I gotta check it out. So and I'm a big Western fan. I grew up with John Wayne Western movie, playing for Western movie, grew up with Gun Smoke. Yeah. And that got me interested in that movie. Okay? Um so so like I said um, uh, like I said, got, uh, if you haven't seen Godzilla Minus One, check it out. I imagine a lot of people, uh, it comparing, uh, it comparing, um, uh, Godzilla Minus One to this. I'm like, that's a lot better. So look, imagine, that probably got like a hundred percent of my tomatoes. And I, I think it, it got like Academy Award. More than Academy Award. Godzilla My form 98% And they are here at 98 The reason why Godzilla My Mine is um uh one was so good in my opinion because you care about the character and you could, uh uh uh, Godzilla was cool too. He was scary. That like the scariest version of Godzilla I've seen in a long time. And you care about the human characters as well. I think the last time Godzilla that I remember Godzilla being scary was um uh, um and uh let's see here uh this one right here. That's the last time I, I remember Godzilla being scared. Jerry, when he was uh, fighting the uh, destroyer, the whole time he was like red and stuff, like about to blow up. Yeah, that one had a very high rated uh, uh, critic score, a lot of tomatoes. Okay, um, yeah, okay, um, so, um, yeah, okay, um, so, uh, so, I didn't totally hate this movie, I did like it definitely than the, um, King Kong fighting the, uh, the monkey, the ape, whatever they call it, and, uh, yeah, okay, the human character was stupid, uh, they know, uh, they know, um, pro credit thing or in credit thing, I, I stayed to the very end, and there was nothing at the end, um, whenever King Kong, I mean, uh, Godzilla, Minus One turned out on DVD, or whenever I see it on DVD or something, I'll buy it. They add to my Godzilla and King Kong collection. Cause, cause, uh, that was my favorite movie of that year. Okay? And I care about Oppenheimer or Barbie, I saw those. But I like, uh, Godzilla Minus One. So I highly recommend checking that out if you haven't. And I only go see this movie. If you're a uh, big Godzilla fan, a King Kong fan, like me, okay, and and know that uh, it it's a stupid fun movie, okay, um, uh, okay, um, so uh, thank you for watching, and um, uh, let me know how would you how would you rank all five of the Monster Bird movie. And, um, I already uh, told y'all how I would rank them. So, thank you, and God bless.